Hey guys, what's going on? Sherman here. And today, I have a dual unboxing. Sounds pretty sweet, huh? So, um, by the way, this is not how these packages came. Uh, they came very officially packaged. Uh, I just ripped the, uh, the label off. Alright, so, I'm not going to do too much yabbering. I know this is from ZT. I'm going to open this one first, and uh, today, my unboxing knife. It's going to be a knife that I got yesterday, didn't do a video on, because I figured I'd give you guys an unboxing break. But I got this. This is the Boker Rhino Calf. Very cool little uh, neck knife. See, it's very small. And um, this is freaking awesome. Got it from Blade HQ for $21. Comes in a very nice box. Comes with a Kydex sheath. Made a nice neck lanyard for it. So, I uh, use it to do my uh, unboxing. You know what? I'll do it the, uh, the easy way. Or the hard way, whichever you consider this. <laughs> Here you go with more peanuts. Alright, this is from Knifeworks. Uh, label. Okay. I hate these friggin' packing peanuts. Alright, hold on one second. Let me open this up. What could it be? That's alright. <laughs> I got another Tops knife. Oh, this one was really cool. This one caught my eye along with... When I bought the uh, Garak Jack, this one really caught my eye as well. I got a good deal on it, so I thought I might as well buy it too. This is the Tops knives. It's got good retention. Cheetah. How wicked does that look? That feels good. It'll just like the uh, Iraq Jack. It just feels right. Reverse grip. I was worried about it not feeling good like that. It actually feels really good in reverse. Here again, sorry if the lighting is weird. I'm filming underneath one of my windows because it's really hot outside. Got the nice micarta scales. These don't have a pattern in them like the Iraq Jack does. These also have a pinned construction. You see the tubes in there, or tube construction, I guess I should say. It's a lot thinner. It's about the same as the Azula, actually. Look at that grind bevel. Look at that cutting bevel. Very wicked. It's not that sharp. It's, it's sharp, it just doesn't have a bite. And here is the uh, Certificate of Authenticity. It's manufactured in 09. Wow. It's been sitting around for a while, hasn't it? That's what I miss about Kershaw. They used to have the uh, the, the birth dates. I miss that they do that. I, I really wish they still did it. But this thing is really friggin' cool. You know, the Iraq Jack, it, I got it sharp, but it's so steep and thick, it really doesn't make that great of a slicer. It makes more of a, a tool. Get the nice laser etching of a cheetah there. Sterile on the back side. Got this for uh, $60 shipped. The knife itself was only $50. 51 something like that. 52 Well, the shipping was kind of high. Of course, you got the top's whistle with their information on it. Pretty cool. Very nice Kydex sheath. It comes with four screws. I'm probably going to put a tech lock on it. Great retention. I really like this knife. It's really cool. A lot of different mounting options. So it carries deep inside the, um, the the Kydex sheath, so no worries about it slipping out. You're ready to rock and roll. I liked it because it kind of reminiscent of a Kukri, and I love Kukri blades. And I wanted a knife that can make a better slicer. So I think this one should be thin enough behind the cutting bevel to get as sharp as my Azula. So that's really nice. 1095 high carbon steel. Got the gray traction coating instead of the black. You can see it in my hand. Only one review of this knife online, so I'm excited to get these reviews out of the Tops knives. But very cool. I really like that. And a lot of people were anxious. I actually showed this on my Facebook. A lot of people were anxious on that. All right. I'm going to do a little bit of ranting when it comes to this knife. 
This is my uh, ZT0561, or 0560, sorry. And this is actually the, um, the third time I've unboxed this exact knife. <laughs> Sent it to warranty repair twice. So I'm gonna do a little bit of ranting in this video as well. All right. Here's the knife. And here's my information. Let's see what they have to say. Okay, it's just a sheet. Okay. I'm gonna try to make this uh, this long, this very long story fairly short. Uh, as you guys know, my zero tolerance had blade play, so contacted them, told me to send it in. Okay, that was great. All fine and good. They sent it back, still had blade play. When I contacted them about that, they said it was normal, and that it was just a phenomenon called lock flex. And they said all titanium frame locks do it, and that it was normal. It met factory uh, standards. So, that kind of ticked me off, because, uh, you know, I told them, I said, if that were tr truly the case, and all my other friends who have this knife would have blade play, all Chris Reeves Sabenz's XM18s, all my friends' custom uh, homemade frame locks would have blade play, but they don't. So I said, well, okay, send it in, we'll take another look at it. So I had, like, five people looking at this knife. When, you know, you spend so much money on a knife, and you tell a company that something that crucially, in my opinion, and in the knife world's opinion, something as crucial as having up and down blade play on a $260 knife, they should be, in my opinion, bending over backwards to try to make it right, because that's a lot of money you gave them. So, my two cents. So, I'm getting it back now, and uh, I'm going to take a look. They said, there's my old DT sheet. They said that they had either bent the frame, they didn't know for sure, I don't know, person I talked to didn't know for sure what they did with it. They said the frame was either bent, you know, the tie frame, or it was replaced. So, uh, I can pretty much tell you which one it's going to be. Uh, cut the tape. Cut the tape pretty well. So yeah, it just it just really ticked me off. I'm like normal. It should never be normal for a knife to have blade play. Okay. Yep, that's definitely the same knife, so they didn't replace it. Mine has a tiny chunk out of the G10 right there. That is a brand new frame. This one isn't as aggressive as my old one. It's actually a slightly different finish. It is... Huh. That's a much different finish. It's not as aggressive as my old one. My same pocket clip. Because my ZT logo wore off on it for some reason. Now up and... <laughs> Still detect a little bit of up and down. This is really disappointing. Detent. They must have bent the frame on this one. Because my detent was awesome. This is really sticky. Okay, this is a new frame. Because it's really sticky. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I gotta disengage it. Listen. It. See, listen. Yeah, it's brand new frame. So. It's not, not bad, um, I'm assuming it's going to wear in, I don't have what it takes to, uh, have it, um, carbonized. They resharpened it. That's good. Yeah, the frame has a different finish on it as well, it's not as heavily media blasted. It's much more of a, um, light finish. Don't mind it at all. Yeah, like I said, they, they said that when they tested it, it had no blade play, and it, I don't know if you guys can hear it, it's just a tiny little clacking noise, I don't know if when I, like I said, that may, that may wear in if this is a brand new lock, 
yeah, the lock geometry is even completely different. I don't know if you guys can see down in there. The lock geometry is much different than my old one. My old one, the entire face was cut at the same angle as the tang, so the whole face of the lock rested into the tang of the blade. This one, the very tip of the lock face is engaged in the tang. And that's the way I had always knew it was supposed to be. There is no significant amount of blade play. So, oh man, that's hard to disengage. I can't. <laughs> oh wow, can't even disengage the lock. All right, sorry guys, I had to go off camera to disengage that lock. Um, it's gonna be hard to see, but my old one was cut very roughly and it was left kind of jagged marks in it. So this is definitely a new frame and I'm really happy that they replaced the frame. Um, however, my original frame was carbonized from the factory. This one was not. Uh, really smooth. They resharpened it. I mean, let me get a, uh, let me get a piece of paper here. I use uh, a piece of get a piece of this order form. I mean, it's insanely sharp. Um, I'm, I'm going to touch it up a little bit. All right, so yeah, this... Um, Theoretically, it should solve the problem. They even did something different with the lock. They cut out that little space right there. Theoretically, this should solve the blade play problem. I still think it partially has something to do with my steel liner. You see a piece of G10? Doesn't meet the liner completely. I don't know if that has anything to do with it either. Just Tolerances that aren't tight enough. But now I can still... Like, I don't... They said that there was no blade play without significant force. I don't consider that significant force. I mean, you guys can see me. I'm not really muscling it or anything. Like I said, I don't know if you can hear it. Just a tiny bit. I mean... Even when I force the lock bar in more, I can still feel it. So, I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated on that. It's just really disappointing. Really hoping their customer service was going to be a little bit better than that. You know. So, once this lock wears in a little bit more, like I said, it should. It's very sticky. My album was very smooth. So, I don't know. I think once this one wears in some more, it'll be a little bit smoother. I don't know yet. If not, I know people that can carbonize it if I if it has to come down to that. But I'll still I'll still keep you guys updated. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that unboxing trifecta. Even though that's not an unboxing, but I'm, I am showing you this knife, and um, you can expect a review. So, and I hope you enjoyed my little ZT rant. So, guys, over at Kai, you really need to. Get your stuff together. I'm, I'm going to tell Jennifer about this. <laughs> Alright guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe. Stay sharp. And God bless. Sherman614. Peace.